Well, these days you can have virtually anything delivered right to your door. And if you don't already, you've probably at least considered grocery delivery. But where do you start? And is the cost worth the time you'll save? Rena Sargenopoulos breaks it all down. Daydreaming of all the time you'll save if somebody else did your grocery shopping? You're not the only one. That's why there's so many options these days. Instacart, Coburn's, Amazon, Shipt, Lunds and Byerly's, even Hy-Vee delivers, for goodness sakes. So how do you know what's best for you? Let's start with the grocery stores that do it themselves. Lunds and Byerly's has no sign-up fee. Delivery will cost you $9.95 regardless of the size of your order. Just remember, someone does need to be home when the goods show up. Hy-Vee's Isles online website says your delivery costs will depend on your location. I had to go through the whole process of creating an account only to find out that delivery isn't available to my home. Great. Coburn's Delivers has been in the game longer than most. The pricing's pretty straightforward. Next day delivery will cost you five bucks for orders over $50 or $9.95 for orders under $50. Need those groceries today? You can get it, but the delivery cost bumps up to $9.95 for orders over 50 bucks and $14.90 for those under. If you want Target groceries delivered, you'll need to go to the site Shipped. This one is a membership-based service, $99 a year or $14 a month, and you can get all the groceries your little heart desires delivered for free. Well, all orders over $35. Orders under that will cost you 7 bucks for delivery. And they do recommend that you tip your driver. Amazon Prime now delivers, well, just about everything. This one will cost you your annual Prime membership, which just went up to $119 a year. Delivery fees based on size of order, or if you're a Whole Foods fan, you can get free two-hour delivery. And finally, Instacart. This one is interesting and slightly confusing, so grab a pen, possibly an abacus, and put your pay attention pants on. For the most part, delivery is $5.99 for orders over $35, $9.99 for smaller orders. But it will depend on when you want it delivered. They have what's called busy pricing, so it may cost you more during busy times. Oh, there's also a service fee on top of your delivery fee. That's going to be a percentage of your order. Buried inside Instacart's website, you'll find more on that service fee. Quote, the service fee helps support the Instacart platform and covers a broad range of operating costs, including insurance, background checks, and customer support. The service fee is not a tip and does not go directly to the shopper delivering your order. And speaking of a tip, there's another 5%. It's suggested but will be tacked on unless you go in and change it at the end of your order. Now you've just added 10% to your bill, but hey, you save time, right? Now, Instacart has the most options. You can get Mm -hmm. Cub Foods, Whole Foods, even Total Wine and Liquor Boy delivered. (laughs) By the way, if you do buy alcohol, someone 21 or older must be home. To accept the delivery. To accept that delivery. No, and some people say that shopping online actually helps them save money because they're less likely to impulse buy, Mm -hmm. which I've found. I do the thing at Target where you order everything and then you go pick it up there. Mm -hmm. Then I'm less likely to roam the aisles Right. Finding cute baby Especially clothes. Especially with Target, but Target used to be part of Instacart, right. and now they've kind of branched off. So we're talking about this on social media as well, so join the conversation if you would. I was interested to see what people think of that split, but there are so many options. There are, and the one thing that you mentioned is you can waive the fee on Instacart. The service fee on Instacart. They claim on their website that they can't, but you've said you've done it, and I've yes. seen many other people say that they've done it too. Yep, but you can also increase the tip from 5%. Yes. You have lots of options, so. There you go. All right, thanks, Rena. You betcha. Very interesting. Randy?